Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have Biomutant. Welcome to Biomutant. So it's like some kind of trash panda shooting game. I, I don't know. I just saw like a preview for it. It looked really good, so. Thought I would give it a shot. Looked interesting. Some kind of mechanical grasshopper. <laughs> Encode your DNA. Okay, so choose breed. Primal is a nimble, developed, anthropomorphic breed. A hybrid with gene manipulate. Gene mutation making them nimble and dexterous at the cost of lesser developed intellect. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you did him dirty on the looks. Dum Dum? It's the least developed anthropomorphic breed, a hybrid offshoot that compensates the lack of mental prowess with physical strength. Rex is an extraordinary developed anthropomorphic breed, a hybrid outcast with an even DNA string making it apt for both physical and mental challenges. Hyla is a regenerative developed breed, extremely tough and resilient. The FIP breed is renowned for highly evolved mind. This genius is directly interlinked to the power of Kai, or Ki, which amplifies their psionic output. Mergil. Idealized breed. Its evolutionary lineages has gone in a direction where form and appearance has dominated over function. Hey, uh, I have no idea what any of this means. I guess we'll go with Rex since it's... No, I don't want to quit. Define your character's starting attributes. Define your genetic structure. In the hell? I, I had no idea. Because, I mean, what's good? Is banter good? Seems like intellect would be better. Oh, wow. How do I go back? Encode your DNA. Define your genetic structure. I'm just going to stay in the middle. Genetic resilience. A genetic resilience. Oh my gosh. Choose your first style. My first style. Uh, we'll go with that. That looks good. Pick your main color. Okay. I we'll just go with that cuz I your detail color. Oh my god. Pick a color. A class? A tricky... The Deadeye is a tricky, skillful rogue who chooses... Who's chosen a life outside law and so society values. Commando. Deadeye. Commando. Trained as an operative of an elite special operations force. Cypher. Okay. 
Okay. With psionic powers and mutations, they're usually outcasts on the fringe of society. Saboteur. Sentinel. Saboteur. Cypher. Commando. Deadeye. Your ranged weapons are reloaded instantly, and your next magazine is granted 20% damage. Commando. Ranged weapon attacks inflict 10% more damage. To shoot a spark ball, press the input you have found the ability to. Saboteur. Equip two different one-handed melee weapons to dual wield them. Sentinel. Saboteur. Ooh, okay. Psych. I'm really intrigued by this psionic powers. Command. But I also really like the dead eye. I'm gonna go with the dead eye. Chosen. Good choice. <laughs> Good job. Okay. Here's somebody with a troubled past, drawn into the spotlight of a story that's already begun. Okay, can I have an options, please? Oh, this is going to take a minute to get used to. I've been playing uh, too much of the Switch. The buttons are reversed. Okay. Auto advanced dialogues. We'll turn that off. And the rest of this, I guess. Whoops. Did I change something? I don't know if that was on or off. Okay. Gibberish on, okay. Okay, everything is to the max. Except for those. I don't really care about uh, the fur. Okay. We'll just go with it. <laughs> oh. Okay, that. We're already at the crossroads. Choosing a path in life is that fork in the road where you make a choice or simply stop living. Okay. But for you, it's not only a crossroad, but a choice, a reflection of your key the primal energy that flows through everything. I'm dark as in strength and power. Color me light for freedom and loyalty. Uh, we'll go this Let way. Let me introduce myself. I'm the light and bright side of you, or your inner voice to be precise. An echo of balance and consequence of your actions as you move forward. <laughs> uh, sure. Seems more like you're being lightheaded, if you ask me, but you'll come around eventually. 
But what comes around goes all the way back around. So it's better to stick to your instincts. You can't fight what's in your nature. In your nature? Oh, and here I was hoping we'd be all about natural selection, survival of the strongest and so forth. If that's not instinct, then I don't know what is. Ha! Natural selection is all about evolution and progress. And as soon as there's enough light, darkness will disappear. Oh, or a somewhat light. <laughs> I mean, the problem is I'm going into this game right so blind. Always right. No, the right side is not always right. Sometimes you got to go left. Like I'm just going to this like completely blind. So I have no idea. Oh, that's how you shoot. Let's reload. <laughs> okay. Okay, skull and crossbones, that can't be good. Stories of death and the bodies left behind. A reminder that we're at the mercy of nature and the one that preys on others. Meat eaters meat. I just, I have no idea what to expect from this game. What the main story is. Do you remember the beast that shattered your family? Or did you choose to forget? You turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger. Okay, I want to change something real quick. Okay. I want to see if that makes any kind of difference with the fur. Ooh! Okay. Whoa, damn. You did not like that. Okay, sweet. Harry. Oh, damn. How do you parry? Do you time it? There we go. You gotta time it. Oh, damn. is not the time nor place to end this story. Okay. So when I started up the game, this whole little cut sequence was going on. That was quite frustrating to me. Because I was... Time. It was best to run and live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes. Is that about to explode? Yeah, close the door. Uh, probably get away. Okay, good. Yeah, this whole little cutscene started when I first started the game, and I, that was quite irritating. Because I wanted to check the settings and do all this other kind of stuff before starting, so I'm glad it kind of did a replay. 
is this? Predator isn't the only threat. The wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began, and the tree of life started to die. Evolution gone wrong. Move towards an enemy to target them with melee attacks. Aim the camera towards an enemy to target them with ranged attacks. To reload, it's the right button. We can form a quick reload. Kai energy is used for dodging, using mutations, and performing special actions or attacks. When you're out of Kai energy, you'll be unable to perform these actions. Okay, it regenerates in and out of combat. So like automatically is targeting. Nice. Can we harvest resources from them at all? Does not look like it. Anything to collect over here? I'm looking for goodies. That's what I'm hoping for. Some kind of goodies to collect. I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, like I was saying earlier, I've been playing a lot of Tears of the Kingdom recently, just going back and replaying. And what sucks is the remote buttons, the X and Y and A, B are swapped. Because I'm playing with like an Xbox type remote. So it's going to be a lot of bad inputs. A weapon add-on. Attach it to your ranged weapon to give it an extra damage type for as long as the ammo lasts. Some en enemies have a resistance or weakness to different weapon special effects. Ah, some kind of a... Is that electric? Electric or cold? Found a medical supply. Bags that contain items that can help you heal. I don't want to use that just yet. Which way do I need to go? Grab on tight. I don't want to do that just yet. Let's do this door. Oh, he's a little flashlight on his shoulder. And it's like a little lizard or something. Or is that my grasshopper friend? Not really sure. Handle. 
so there are stuff that you can pick up. Whoops. Oh. Sludges everywhere. Sludge most, soaker. It only means death, but some have adapted to the new environment and changed with it. Evolution has its ways. Remember to parry enemy attacks. Can't see. Whoops. Fallen enemies can often be looted for healing items. Remember to use healing items. Yeah, yeah. Uh, dainty? Rarity common. Someone will pay dearly for that. What? I I'm gonna pay for killing them, or... You're talking about I can sell the stuff. Why are they just attacking me? I mean, what did I do? I mean, I just got here. What is that noise? Who's growling at me? Hmm. Maybe it was me growling. Oh, fantastic. More of these. Now that's a flesh wound. Damn, I saw that at the last minute. Oh, damn. Holy crap. Okay. Damn it. Are these guys and where are we at? Oh no, come on. Ah. The remote's gone crazy. All right. Got the controller reset. I hate it when it does that. All right, let's continue the journey. And I've adjusted the audio a little bit for y'all because I think it may not have been loud enough. Some enemies carry large shields. You need to break the shield with melee attacks before you can deal damage to the enemy. Well, that's fantastic. They're using a car door. Okay, 
Okay, take these guys out, please. Please. It's like, why can't I hit them? Level two. Defeat enemies and complete quests, get you XP, levels you up, allows you to wait, raise one of your attributes by 10. You'll also get one point that you can use to unlock skills in the Wung Fu and perk menus. <laughs> okay. Why can't I raise this one? The workshop. When you level up, you can increase an attribute. Pick an attribute. Strength, intellect, agility, charisma, luck. I'm going to go with luck. Good. Okay. Close combat. Two handed slash. Wicked dog. X, X, Y. Yeah, we'll do that one for now. just go with that for now. Because I'm, I'm still learning. Still trying to figure it out. Uh, I can't open that. It's a post-apocalyptic world. So if humans just died out and raccoons have taken over... I mean, I've told all my friends that for years, if there's one Look, species... an emergency box from the once was. A rare sight. From the once was. I've told my friends multiple times that there's one species of animal on the planet that'll take over after humans. It'll be the raccoons. They are highly intelligent creatures. <laughs> Old World Claw Bar. Nice. I have to remember those. That pipe looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. Uh, <laughs> Can I select the claw bar? No, it just does it automatically. So it's just a tool, not a weapon. That is good to know. Whoa. It's time to find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it. <laughs> oh. This is so awesome. Rabbit's Leap. AA. A double jump. Is that a like like? Uh, oh, I thought those were spikes. They're just mushrooms. What is that on the wall? 
The Morks produce bioweapon in their multi that they shed under the stress of blobs that affect the cellular. You're on your way to performing a special attack. Coding strands of any living being when absorbed, including you. Ow. Damn. Chop, chop. You absorbed a bio blob. These are points used to unlock mutations. Okay. But I can't get rid of this, right? Back to now. Get out of bunker one oh one. Why does it look like there's something over there? Aha, there is. A Hari hat. Quality's lousy, rock coated too. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> oh! I have a little helmet. I don't know if it'll do any good, but we'll see. That's awesome. So, energy pack medium and health heal. What else do we have? To change armor and equipment. Uh, okay, I don't need all of these instructions. I'm sure I can figure it out. Dead eye jacket. You look good in that. Okay. Back is no items. Head is the hat. You make that work. I don't see that it really does anything. Hmm. Wow. We have this whole thing to explore. The Cluppy Duns. Mushy Mosh Meyer, Nup Stonies, Surfy Pelago, okay, and the Naki Leaves Dead Zone. Toxanol built vessels called arcs 
to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single Ark they left behind that we know other Arks traveled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. So the Toxinols must have been humans. found a puzzle. These are scattered around the world. Some open new paths while others create different rewards. To switch which node is selected. Okay, use the left one to rotate node. This is the number of rotations you have left. The higher your intellect, the more moves you have. Each node has a certain position. It must be rotated to, rotated to in order to complete the puzzle. Running out of moves before they, before that may have consequences. I did not mean to do that. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Ooh, I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxinol Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste and, without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right. But no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. Hmm. All right. I want to make another quick adjustment. All right. So humans polluted the planet and mutations began to happen. It's basically the story. Now we're trying to survive in this bio-mutated world. Sound of spark metal going pew pew is never a good thing. It's coming from behind that door. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. <laughs> uh, it's high voltage. It's going to take a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door. Okay. So how do I want to rotate this? There you go. Sweet, we can move on. Air strike, perfectly countering an enemy attack will stun them. A stunned enemy has stars circling around their head. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out.
pretty much. Damn, he's just chopping through him. That's the last of them. Let's talk to the wheeled one. <laughs> Let's talk to the wheeled one. But I want to collect first. Ooh. What is that? Resources. Okay, let's talk to the wheeled one boy head on. A new friend, an old friend. He's a mole? A one-legged mole? I'm assuming? Or is that a walrus? I don't know what you are, buddy. Vunko Vunturubo. He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. Okay. He presents himself as out of date. He knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then, the night everything changed. There have been rumors of a one-eyed ronin seen outside the Great War, and he's happy to see it's true. The, what? the legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. Fabobe Mok Kofar. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark, a facial scar to remember the past. There's no doubt you're the child, and that what Lupa Lupin did to your village, your Moomer and Popsy, was the beginning of the end. Kim Hobe Bekuko Ifad Muk. He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present to find your way back, but he's grateful you have. Come, Reaper. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Muma's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. No, don't. Oh, maybe we do. By default, dialogues are set to advance from one NPC line to the next automatically. If you want to manually advance the dialogue, you can change this. Yep. Way back in the long ago. I'd say the graphics are kind of beautiful. Am I just a little kid? I'm just a little trash panda. With no care in the world. Is that Popsy? Best before. Asks if you were tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He wonders if your Mooma knows you are here. I don't think she cares. I hope I told her. <laughs> You're such a good child, so you probably did. Even the young forget. <laughs> he understands why you came all the way out here, to see them. The potato people. Okay. <laughs> potato people. The potato people, or Nono, are a wonder somehow interlinked with this little tree here fueling its source of life. Nano. Potato people is better. 
I don't believe in magic. <laughs> uh, I'll go with this. You might be right. Like potatoes, they're packed with energy, an excellent source of key. Key. I like Kai better. But it's key. The Nono prefer to hide in glitter grass. He says you should get over there and ruffle it. See if you can make one come out of hiding. Okay, let's see what these potato people look like. You found one. You should be proud. They don't come out for everyone. The Nono's key energy is just what the Pensai needs to complete its cycle and grow into a tree of life. What can uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. The small tree you saw up there where you met will eventually grow into a tree of life and start giving back to nature. It'll be the heart of the land. Bed the bed. <laughs> you need to support the tree for a long time to come. The only way it'll grow tall is with the burst of key released from the nono as they become one with the tree. <laughs> You'll need a net to catch the Nono, and he wants you to use his, but asks you to be gentle. The Nono are sensitive beings, an embodiment of Ki, the primal energy. Okay. You're gonna give me the net? Hoop net received. I was not very gentle. You handle that net like you've never done anything else. He's impressed. I think I just smacked it <laughs> out of this place. He hopes the tree will have grown tall enough to sustain the world. But today, your focus is getting this one to become one with the tree. Okay. Little ninja moves. Ah. So you just fed it to the tree? <laughs> now that you've seen the Nono's connection with the tree with your own eyes, you have no reason to doubt. <laughs> From this day on, he'll make nurturing the Pensai into a tree of life, a life goal. Not only for our village's sake, but for all of us. Every <laughs> One day, the land won't be as peaceful. Not even your Moomer will be able to protect us. Well, well, well. He says you'd better hurry back to the village before your Moomer comes looking for you. You did good here today. No, she's got lots on her mind and needs rest after the raid last night on the Lupin camp with her disciples. Wonders if they let the Predator family live or not. Hmm. Billy, I'm too... He lost you there for a while, but no memory is alone. It's part of a trail you can follow. Hmm, pa, wherefore, where we? He says he remembers every single day he devoted to growing the tree of life, but now he's afraid it might be in vain. Papa Morphobuck. The tree started to die when the end of days begun, and it wasn't long after that that the world eaters arrived. Who are the world eaters? The genetic evolution that occurred after the apocalypse, the Toxinol Corporation inflicted on the land, set the World Eater's DNA into overdrive. Okay. 
So they live in the dead space. His friend Gizmo is working on a Mekton and needs help defeating the Jumbo Puff at the end of the West Route. Wiz is still repairing his octopod to confront the Merc Puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the Northwest Route. Noko has tamed the Majut and is preparing to take on the Hoof Puff at the end of the East Route. Finally, Goop Porky is Puff. almost done with the Goo Glide a machine able to ride the waves of the surf all the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to the southeast. Papa Morphobuck. Out of date, says his friends, are gearing up to stop the World Eaters. There's one at the end of each route. Tolidrea okay. ya Maoloa. The road ahead won't be easy, but he's counting on your support. His friends aren't strong enough to end this on their own. He wants you to understand that you'll all die if the tree isn't saved. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world eaters. He gave us the net, so now we need to capture those creatures. I have to say, this game is freaking awesome, and how I never heard of this game before, I just randomly came across it on some article, and was like, oh, this looks good, I'll buy it. This game has turned out to be freaking awesome. Uh, save the world tree. We need to defeat the world eaters that are at the roots. That explains that whole map. Okay, no more talking. You're getting the hang of it. Quickest way out is through the roof where they came in, and the rope looks strong enough to climb. I just wonder what the whole fate thing is. I guess if he chose the dark side, he may side with the world eaters and destroy the world. Now I'm really tempted to play this game again and then do it the exact opposite. Like, let's choose the light this time, and then let's choose the dark the next time. Know that the tree of life is dying. Its days are numbered. Without help, it can't endure the environmental change and assault from the world eaters. Biomutant. So we got a second title screen. And in fact, I think that's probably a good place right here to end this video. And then I'll pick it up next time heading into the valley. So awesome. Thanks for joining me and I will see you next time.